Hello, my name is Sean Bianco from 3CX. This training consists of a series of video tutorials which will take you through 3CX phone systems and user features. These video tutorials will aid in your preparation for the 3CX certification test. In this nugget, we shall go over how you can use your Grandstream phone with 3CX phone system. Using your Grandstream phone, you can make calls by lifting your handset and entering the number and hitting the send button. Alternatively, you can press the speakerphone button to use your speaker, or press the headset button if you want to use a headset to make the call. A call can be transferred either using the attended transfer or unattended transfer method, also known as blind transfer. If a transfer is attended, the person performing the transfer can notify the receiving party of the transfer before the transfer is affected. Using your Grandstream phone, you can perform an attended transfer whilst already on an active call by pressing the transfer button. The call is placed on hold. You will then need to press a line button and then dial the number you want to transfer the call to and press the send button. When the destination party picks up the call, you can notify him about the impending transfer. Press the transfer button followed by your initial line button then the recipient's line button to complete the transfer. In the case of a blind transfer, the call is transferred immediately without any interaction between the person performing the transfer and the receiving party. To perform a blind transfer whilst already on an active call, press the transfer button. The caller is placed on hold. Dial the number and press the send button. Once the receiving party picks up the call, the transfer is complete. Using your Grandstream phone, you can check your voicemail by pressing the message button. This will automatically dial the voicemail number. Once you have connected to your voicemail, you will be asked to enter your PIN. You can find the PIN for your extension in the email that was sent to you when your extension was created. Contact your 3CX phone system administrator if you cannot locate the PIN. After you have entered your PIN, hit pound to access, save, check or delete your voicemail messages. The voicemail features are explained in another nugget. In addition to the features which have already been discussed, your Grandstream phone has a variety of additional features which can be used to perform a number of tasks. During a call, you can turn your phone's microphone off using the mute button. When activated, you will still be able to hear what is being said by the called party but they won't be able to hear you. If a client calls in and requests information or someone else in particular, you can put them on hold until you retrieve the information requested. When on hold, the client will hear the on hold music. Furthermore, the line buttons can be used to manage incoming and active calls. If you are on a call with a client and require information from a colleague, before proceeding, you can put that client on hold, hit another line button and dial your colleague's number to perform a new call on that line. Once done, you can hit the line button associated with the original caller and convey the information retrieved from your colleague. The buttons shown here are busy lamp fields. Your 3CX phone system administrator can configure the busy lamp fields for you to see the status of other extensions. You can dial the extension directly by pressing the busy lamp field assigned to the extension. These buttons can also be configured as shared parking, speed dials, custom speed dials, agent login, logout or change profile. Using the phone book feature allows you to view contacts configured in 3CX phone system. Use this feature to access, search and initiate calls directly from your phone book. To access the phone book, press the phone book button. Press the menu button, call history to browse through your answered calls, dialed numbers, missed calls and transferred calls. This leads us to the conclusion of the second course in this series. I hope you found the information provided informative. You can find more training material at the link provided.